Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a brand new video. Today we are going to be going over how to use the new blocks for the 1.13 update. And also after that we will be going over some of these older blocks from older updates that are also quite difficult to use. So let's get into it. So the blocks we will be going over today guys are the new coral blocks with all the little corals on top and on the sides. Also the way we can use these bubble blocks like so. And we will be going over the new stripped logs, the new bark blocks, the new trapdoors, the new buttons. They're awesome. Uh, these are the dead versions of all that coral, so we'll go over how to use those as well. Also, we have this new kelp block, which is very interesting. Then guys, we will go over some of the older blocks from older updates. The magma block, the netherwart block, the netherwart bricks, and all the different types of the glazed terracotta. Okay guys, first up we have the stripped bark blocks, that is what I have used to build the outside of this house, and I think it looks quite nice. So you've got it all in there, all in there, uh, all around the outside of this thing, and you just it just sits nicely behind all the little details and things, and I think that's really cool. So you can use it like that. Also I've got a floor design in here with these uh with these oak ones i think that's what they're called stripped oak yes that is the one and we've got that all around here obviously i haven't done any decorating in here so just ignore that just the floor quite a cool design i think anyway so yep you can use them all on the walls and on the floor and just out here we have a couple of other ideas that i went over so you can get these cool uh, floor patterns going uh, i find it quite difficult to use the jungle ones so this is what i've gone for but um yeah i, I don't think that looks very good I can imagine this inside like some, I don't know, government building or stuff where they have that horrible carpet. But um, yeah, apart from that, I'm not really sure. I, I might find a use for this later on, but that's what I've gone for. Uh, here we have the acacia ones, and I've done this cool pattern here. I think it's quite, it, it looks quite good, and I've also done it here with the stripped birch ones. So yeah, that pattern is quite hard to figure out, but once you've got it, you start um, doing it quite well. I may have messed up a few times, but on a larger scale, it would look really cool. Um, I've also done it over here with the acacia, a, a different pattern actually, but uh, yeah, looks kind of interesting. So you can use them all like that. Next guys, I want to go over these trapdoors. So now we can set them up like this because of all the new water mecha mechanics. We can actually uh, build little barrels, which I think is really, really cool. So that looks good. We can also build little fire ones. Now, I actually think this makes quite a good wall block, so that is quite good. And you don't need these blocks here, and if you wanted it at wall level, uh, you could also do that. You can just fold them down there. So if you wanted them on the flat wall level like that, you could use them as a wall. So yeah, they're, they're really handy actually, so that's quite good. Uh, nope, wrong place. Uh, I probably need a block back here. Put that back. There you go. Wall fixed. I think they look really cool. Um, I don't, I don't know about these dark oak ones. Honestly, they look like chocolate and I just can't get that out of my head and that's all they look like. I mean, they look a little better when they've got like, when they're doing something like this, but uh, yeah, those ones, those ones are a little troubling for me, but that's all right. Obviously, we can use the trapdoors in all the ways we used to with the old trapdoors. So uh, little things that come out over the windows. Obviously, these ones actually look like windows, so they're quite cool. These are the birch ones. In here we have the acacia ones also doing that. Uh, these look much better from the outside. Like I said, I didn't do any decorating on the inside. So these have like little little uh, windows like this, and I think they look quite cool. These ones uh, in particular are quite good as well. I think these are the jungle ones. Yes, they are. Uh, I have a few more little ideas around here. So I've done it with these ones. I don't really like it. I think it would look better with the spruce. So if I just change that out, if we put blocks here, and then you put these on, and then you can delete those blocks. And then we do the same here. Nope, need to put a block here and here. And then put these here and here. And you can delete them. They look like an open window like that. And yeah, you just have the little edges outside like usual. So yeah, the trapdoors are actually really, really good. You can use them a lot like we used to. Also, I've put a few up here. Because they're see-through, you can see the background and I think that looks really cool. So the trapdoors are actually one of my favorite things in this update. They are awesome. Okay guys, moving on quickly, we have the new buttons, and uh, I can't find too many uses for them other than the uses we had before, but I think they add a bit of variety, so that's quite cool. We can use them in all the ways we used to, just adding a bit of detail to things, putting them up here, 
you know what I mean? Nothing, nothing too special with all these different buttons, but uh, yeah, it's quite, it's quite interesting. We can add little details here and there with different colors depending on the builds now. So uh, we don't just have the one color of button, so that's going to be quite helpful. Sorry, not many good tips for the old button. All right, guys, now a really obvious one. These are the bark blocks. Now we can use them just for building trees and you won't have to see any of those ugly sides of the wood. So you can build them all just a normal tree like this and uh, you won't have all the little bits sticking out on the ends. So yeah, it looks really cool down here where you can see all the tops and yeah, there's, there's none of those silly little faces. So that one's pretty self-explanatory, guys. That one's going to be pretty useful though. I think it looks much better than before. Okay guys, next on the list is the dead coral blocks. Now they are just these blocks placed down when they're not touching water. So if you place any of these coral blocks right here, if you place them out of water, they die straight away. So these are the five different types for the five different types of coral. Now the first obvious use guys is paths. You just add a bit more variation to our paths here. I think some of these are a little bit funny. So if we take out these ones, they're a bit too intense for this kind of a path. Maybe if you were doing a full cobblestone path and you put a few of those in, it might be alright. But this one's mixed. And yeah, I think that looks alright. It's not too bad. Also, they look quite good all together like this. But uh, yeah, so that's the most obvious use. Now, I found a really cool one. I think this particular one, the dead pink coral, looks really good underneath water. It gives that like sort of pond look. I think it's really cool. And yeah, I think I think that looks that looks really really good. So yeah. Okay, guys. Now on to the kelp block. Now I will admit, I f at first I had quite a few problems trying to find uses for this block, but I persevered, and I think it actually gives quite a good floor. Maybe in a modern build, like a tiled floor, I think it's quite cool because it's got these really defined white lines, could, which could be like the grouting in between tiles, and then they all fit together nicely like that. So I think that's actually quite cool. And in more futuristic builds, like spaceships and things, you could use these. I think it looks quite interesting with these arrows, like going up like this is a, a lift or something you know what i mean or just by itself like this because it's got these very straight lines on it and they're, they're centered well just off center which is a little bit weird but um it can be used you don't notice it too much and i also found over here that if you make sort of a dark hallway out of it it sort of looks like you're walking down a futuristic hallway if you just walk all the way down it sort of looks like you're walking into into nowhere until it's absolutely pitch black down here so yeah, those are some uh, a few uses for the uh, kelp block. All right, guys, finally, we are on to the coral blocks. So I think these things are amazing, especially with all the little coral plants and the fans and things and the little seagrass. We finally have animated blocks in the game. Look at this. This is great. These these are these are really awesome. We also have all the cool new fish and things. Uh, the only problem is I think they're a bit too reactive to the bubbles and they end up just doing stuff like this. So the bubbles look great, but they they sort of do do a bit of that and they just they just go nuts. They get absolutely wrecked by the bubbles. But anyways, guys, this is how you would use them. Obviously, build up some little coral plants, put little uh, coral fans and plants on top of the uh, the blocks. And yeah, also just dot around some bubbles. I think the ones going up obviously look the best because the ones going down don't make any sense at at all. Not not even slightly, but I love it because Minecraft's awesome like that. And obviously, guys, we just have the little kelp and the sea grasses around as well. So yeah, that's that's pretty self-explanatory as well. These ones are great, and I think the sand on the bottom looks really good too. So yeah, that's how you guys build a fish tank or, or use these. Obviously, you'd use them in the ocean or in your base in a big big fish tank like this and I think if you put a big mural on the back here looking from the front would look really cool this new glass texture is a lot better than before but obviously if you're playing with clear glass then this will look even better but yeah also guys we can use these coral blocks in builds inside as well now what you have to do is obviously have water next to them so these are going to make your walls a little bit long longer out the back here a little bit wider because you have to put water at the back of them so that's what I've done for all of these and obviously that one has water flowing down the middle of them 
So I think these go really well with the quartz and obviously you can put them in, in rooms as like wallpaper and things like that. I just think it's quite important that you give it a bit of depth. So bring things out like this and this around it, put like borders around it or whatever. Just just bring out a bit of, a bit of depth into the build because if you just have a flat wall of that, it looks a little bit funny. So yeah, that's quite cool. I think you can make nice little wallpapers, wall things like this. And yeah, also integrating the water with them looks really cool as well. Alrighty guys, time to move on to these nether blocks. Now over here I've constructed a bit of a thing. Uh, I know people had quite a bit of trouble using these when they first came out, the red nether bricks. But I think people have gotten a lot better in using them. I think they look good obviously in these dark like sort of evil builds. So what I've done is I've put this on this, the uh, magma block on the floor here. It looks like lava, obviously it looks like magna, magma on the floor there. And yeah, that's that's really cool. So I've just built this little hallway along here and just a bit of thing at the end. Didn't put in too much detail, but we've got little things going along. And I was experimenting with these going up and I think that looks quite cool as well. So yeah, might continue those to the end like this or whatever. But uh, obviously that's how you use those. And I've put these back here to give the wall sort of a, a different feel. So that's the nether warp block there. And yeah, so that's how you use those. There's obviously lots more ways to use these. I think these are actually really cool blocks and uh, people don't use them enough. So you need to do some more evil builds like this, I think, in the future. All right, guys, on to the dreaded glazed terracotta. Everyone seems to hate these things, but I actually think they have a really cool use in the game. So uh, they are difficult to work with, but it is possible. So let's get into it. So the biggest problem I have with these blocks is they're all centered around a too wide thing like this. And obviously most builds, uh, you try and make them uh, odd, odd numbers so you can have a center block. So these are all centered around a center point like this, whereas normally you try to have a center block like this. So yeah, that, that is the most difficult thing about them, but it is possible to, uh, to get them into sort of odd numbers like I will show you over there but first of all I just want to show you this you can the quartz with sort of the lighter and blue ones goes quite nice and you can also use these darker ones now they are very difficult to position but after working with them for a while you sort of learn so you know that this is going to be wherever you place it is going to be in your bottom right hand corner so what you can do is go obviously if you want to make the circle in the middle that's going to be there and then you can rotate here and then here and then here to make the circle in the middle so you do get used to it slowly it is a bit of a pain but uh yeah so what i've done what what you could do is you could have just like the one um edge going around here so you can have the little circles like what i've done there's lots of different patterns you can get with these things so you've got this pattern and you've got that circle pattern so they, um, they've all been designed quite well, so it's really cool like that. So you've got little path designs like this and also like this. You can have glass on top of them. See how I've put this with the other pattern in the middle here? And then this one has the square pattern in the middle. So yeah, you can get a few different patterns out of these things. So this one's the round one. This one here is sort of the diamond shaped one. And then you've got this weird one going out like that. You get a few different patterns from these blocks and that's really cool. So there are a few of these glazed terracotta that are quite tricky to use. This one in particular, I'm not sure which one this is. This is the orange one. So yeah, that is that that did trouble me a little bit. I think it will work well with an aquarium or something. It'll look much more like it because these sort of look like clownfish. And if you put them together in a certain way, you can make them look a lot different. But I'd sort of go with the circle one here and obviously the quartz again and water. So yeah, a few things like that. This again is centered on two blocks, so kind of difficult for building. But uh, if you wanted to do this down a hallway, you could put sort of a center block here before you moved into another section of this over here and that would make it an odd amount so you can work it in just not if this is like in the middle of your room and you're walking towards it it makes it very difficult all right guys i got a path design here it is not amazing but it is pointing in the right direction so hopefully this gives you some inspiration to make something a lot better than this but this is a one like so we have a one block center so that is making it way easier to do all our builds and everything so i've just got three wide here and obviously you can see the one wide here one i actually think this looks much cooler when you can't see the other one but um yeah and then i just have this circle pattern going around the outside so yeah 
Also guys, we can get these wall things to be centered on one block. So you just have to push the blocks all out by one on the sides like this and create sort of uh, patterns. Again, I think it's very important that we use depth with these things, otherwise they look kind of crummy. So here I've done a similar thing. Not great, but you guys get the idea. Uh, you, you would actually have to work with these for quite a while to uh, get really good at using them. And one more design here guys, we have a two wide thing, so we've got the pattern, but then in the middle we can put three blocks like this. So you could you could do one as well, so then that makes it, right, we have the two, and then the two, and then one, so that would make it five. But here we have a seven wide thing, and nine with the two sides there, so it is an odd amount. You just have to make it not the focal point, it has to be the side, and then you, in the middle you can have one. So that makes it uh, an odd odd amount of blocks so yeah you can still do it hey that is really annoying oh that's better that's so much better how did i miss that so as you guys can see it is quite difficult to work with these terracotta blocks but i think if if you do it correctly it uh could be done really well and i think there's a lot of potential with these blocks that uh we haven't really explored yet and i'm gonna try really hard when i start my new season of sticks plays minecraft to use these in some some sort of meaningful way so yeah good luck to you guys Alrighty guys, that is all we have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned how to use some of these blocks a little better. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.